Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. I'm fine. Oh, that's great. You sound very happy. <laughs> bipolar. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Bipolar. <laughs> I am what? bipolar. You are. <laughs> Why do you say that? Why do you say that? No, 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 no. ¿Qué dice eso? Why do you ah, say that? Ahorita... Mm, ¿Qué dice eso? Ok. No, normal ando, teacher. Es que pensé que iba a ser el último en entrar porque ahorita voy entrando y solo había entrado. Si es que no fui el último. But, ok, there's one minute for to eight. Sí. One to eight. Yes. No, en los primeros, en el primer, en el primer módulo, faltando cinco, ya estábamos casi todos. Sí, en el primer módulo. Ok. Con sí. todas las ganas. Sí, cabal. And now what happens? A ver. A ver. I don't know. <laughs> no idea. No you sé have... por qué. No idea, Karen. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Hello, Alba. Good evening. Good evening. Um, could you check the the presentation? Mm, no, teacher. You didn't have time. Sí, no, es bien difícil. Yo casi que solo de 12 a 1 y, y no lo mandó temprano, teacher. No. <laughs> no, I sent <laughs> it at 5.26 p.m. Sí, cabal. Por eso es que no, no. Venía en la moto ahorita en ese momento. Oh, en la motorcycle. Sí. Matías Renegado. <laughs> Ghost Biker. I'm sorry. Es Ghost Biker, así se llamaba el oh. cabrón que te decía. Ok. Very good, guys. So it's time to start our class. So let's take the attendance. Let's see who is here. Just some time. So please um, don't forget. To say your name aloud. Just let me see. Okay. <clears throat> what day is today, guys? What day is today? What day is it today? Is it Monday? Is it Wednesday? Is it Saturday? What day is it today? Alba, what day is it today? What day is today? Thursday. Thursday, exactly. Thursday. Thursday. Uh huh. 19, and the month? Nineteen. Ah, month. August. 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 Okay. Nineteen. Nineteenth. Twenty. Twenty one. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's start with Alba Dinora Vides Castillo. Present. Alfredo Rodas. Present. Carla Sanchez. Carlos Rodriguez. Present. 
Cristina Romero. Domingo Alexander. Present. Fátima Portillo. José Matías Lemus. Present teacher. Karina Espinosa. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Marco David Velázquez Vázquez. Present teacher. Marlon Cardona. Mauricio Alexander Majano. Chichita David. ¿Quieres la cara? ¿Quién es fino? ¿Quién es fino? Maitele Judith. Nancy Rodríguez. Present teacher. Rocío Katia. Salvador Edgardo. The present teacher. Sandra Yanis Velázquez. Present. Víctor Salazar. Present. Walter González. William Eduardo Pérez. Present. Un chichi, un chichichillando. No alcanza porque te apagué las luces y ya está. Ok, guys. Oh, thank you for being here on time. Oh, dice Karina que estará de oyente porque está esperando el bus, dice. She's waiting for the bus to come. Ah, you know, I don't know what happened today, but I was waiting for the bus too. And it was, you know, very... I mean, it, the, the bus took a long time to come. Okay, guys, so today we're going to have a very nice uh, class because we're going to learn something new. It's about the, the use of could you and would you mind uh, to learn about or, how, or to express requests para eh, expresar peticiones. Oh, there's another message. Mm -hmm, because of the rain, okay. Let me share the screen with you, but it's loading. So just give me a second, guys. So as I was telling you, today's class is about how to use could you and would you mind? Okay, and we're gonna have also in the first activity a practice for uh, the simple past, okay? So just let me, let me share the screen with you. Wait a moment. Okay, share screen. Let me know if you can see it, please. Can you see my screen? No. No teacher. Yeah, I can see that it's not possible. Let me try one more time. Alfredo, you're sleepy, you're tired. I know it's... Thursday, <laughs> almost Friday. Okay, and now guys, can you see it? Yes, yes. yes. Great, hello Marquito. Good evening. Good hello. evening Marquito. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm 
fine in the city. I'm fine. <laughs> That's great. Are you happy? Sister Felidis. Yes, I am. Yes, yes I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, so sweet. Okay, so today, guys, we're going to start the unit number three, which title is Communication at the Workplace. And today's objective is the class will be able to make polite requests at the workplace by using modal verbs. Agenda, can I have a volunteer to read the agenda, please? Okay, uh, I... please. <clears throat> agenda, warm up person to pass activity one, request at the workplace, activity two, call you, activity three, what you mean, would you mind? Would, would, would you mind? Activity four, replay. Activity five, wrap up. Thank you so much, Matias. Okay, so let's begin with the first activity. Present to pass. What are you going to do? You're going to change the sentences in present to past tense. But let's do the first one together, okay? So let's make the first example together. The first sentence says, ¿Cómo dice la primera oración? Alba. ¿Cómo dice la primera oración en español? Oh. Yo, dígala. Oh, leer, oh, leer, oh, leerla. Ah. Please. Juan, my mother, and I go to the shopping my every weekend. Thank you. Yes, my mother and I go to the shopping mall every weekend. It's in the simple present. But we are going to change the sentence to the past. La vamos a pasar a pasado. Valga la redundancia. <laughs> okay, so let's start. How would you how would you change that sentence into the past? We're going to start with the subject. My mother and I. What is the pass of go? Went. Went. Y luego, ¿qué se diría? Yes. Get. Get. Get the shopping. shopping. Ok, went to the shopping mall. Ah, pero ya no diríamos every weekend, porque ese every weekend Last implica weekend. un hábito. Ah, but in the past we can use last weekend. Past, past weekend. Una acción pasada terminó y se quedó en el pasado, ¿verdad? Entonces diríamos, my mother and I went to the shopping, ah, se me comí el mall. Shopping mall last weekend. My mother and I went to the shopping mall last weekend. Okay, so now it's your turn to continue creating or changing the sentences into the past. For example, sentence number three says, he thinks that is a good idea. I send a report by email. How old is he? Where do you go? So let's start with this. Please change the sentences in present to the past tense. And um, if you can send your sentence on the chat, okay? What is the pass of think? The know. pass of think? Irregular verb, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes, it's an irregular verb. Será don. Thought. Thought is the pass of think. The pass of send. Thought. Sent. Sent. It's an irregular verb too, okay. Um, the pass of is. 
was. Where. Was. Was. Where is the pass of R? Plural. The pass of go? Yeah. Ah, pero como es una pregunta, what is the auxiliary that we use for did. the did. pass? Okay, did. Where did you go? Where did you go? Okay, please send your sentences in the chat so that I can check, I can see if it's correct or not, and I can help you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, Excellent. He thought that was a good idea. He thought that it was a good idea. Okay. Okay. I sent the report by email. Very good. Una consulta, teacher, en la segunda no llora el, el, el dig. No, en las affirmative sentences, en las afirmativas no usamos el did, porque solo usamos el verbo en pasado, el sujeto y el verbo en pasado. Usamos el did en preguntas y en negativo. Ok, ok. How old was he? Excellent. He thought that was a good idea. Mm -hmm. I sent a report by email as well. Okay. Excellent. I like that you are using expressions in the past tense. Where did you, ah, vaya, Matias. Esa sería, mire, where did you go? Solo así. Where did you go? Okay. Okay, I, I see that you have finished this, but there are more, there are more exercises. So let's go to the next one. Why do you study English? They don't wear a uniform. It rains very hard. She doesn't work on Fridays. They don't answer the phone right away. Why do you study English? Excellent, Alfredo. What about number two? They didn't wear a uniform. Good job. Why do you study English? Good job, Domingo. What about the number, the number three? It rains very hard, but in the past, how would it be? Oh, 
Ok, was raining very hard sería en pasado progresivo. Y en simple past, ahí dice estaba lloviendo. Y como digo, llovió bien fuerte. The pass of rain. Rain is a regular. It's a regular verb. Exactly. It, pero no olvidemos el sujeto. It rained very, very hard. It rained very hard. Okay, what about number four? She doesn't work on Fridays. That would be. She didn't, doesn't work on Fridays. Vaya, miren. Vamos a ver. Para el pasado, en negativo, solo vamos a usar un auxiliar. Didn't, ¿verdad? Muy bien, Alfredo. She didn't y luego el verbo en su forma base y lo demás, el complemento. ¿Verdad, Nancy? Sería, she didn't work on Fridays. Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. Así, el sujeto, el auxiliar didn't, que nos da el pasado negativo, luego el verbo en su forma base, work, y luego on Friday. She didn't work on Friday. And what about the last one, the number five? But good try, Nancy. Thank you for participating. They, excellent, Sandra. They didn't answer the phone right away. That's perfect. Ellos no contestaron el teléfono en el momento, ¿verdad? Ella no trabajó el viernes, sería she didn't work on Friday. <laughs> ya lo puso on Friday. O ella no trabajó los, los viernes. Ok, very good. Thank you for participating, guys. Now, let's start the topic of today, which is requests so here you can see some you can see some short conversations uh -huh. in the first one we have could you print out the budget file right away rita ahorita right away rita now another request would you mind opening the window sure no problem Esto me suena como en el bus. Así como, ¿le importaría abrir la ventana? Sure, no problem. When you are not in that seat, ¿ok? Entonces, ¿qué quiere decir esto? Could you print out the budget file? ¿Podrías imprimir el archivo del budget del presupuesto? Ahorita, Rita, ahorita. <risa> ¿O le importaría abrir la ventana? Seguro, no hay problema. Claro que sí. Ok. So, what are you going to do? You have to practice these short conversations. Ok. So, I'm going to, can you please take a screenshot? Because I'm going to assign you in groups. And you have to practice the conversation many times until you pronounce it correctly, okay? Y después, and later on, I'm going to ask you some questions about that, okay? Please take the screenshots. One, two, three. Okay, now we have a 17 participants. Okay. Practice with your partner, please. Practice, Teacher, practice, practice. How do you pronounce budget? 
But y que me habían levantado, practice vamos a hacer. Yes, practice the oh. conversations. Okay. No les escuché, teacher. Budget. Practice the conversations. Ah, the pronunciation is budget. 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 Okay, thank you. Do you print out the budget file? Sure, okay. right away. Right away. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. I saw a mosquito here. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. We practice the why do you study English? They don't wear uniform. That or the next page? No, the next one, the short conversations. The is the short conversation with a partner. Exactly. Could you print out the budget file? Right away, Rita. The other right. one. Would you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem. Uh, and here only, only say, uh, go ahead, you can do it. Uh, Okay. Sí, sí. Cuando piden abrir la ventana. No, dale. Teacher. Yes. Creo que puede poner otra vez la, la foto de la de la que tenemos que tomar el uh, Creo que ya la mandaron al grupo. No ah, ok. Es que es. No encontraba. Ay, no, como me sacan en esas fotos. <risa> <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, practice please. All right. Okay. Empezamos. Virginia. Hola. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Walter. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. Um, Did you have dinner? Yes. Um, el otro muchacho está solo de oyente. Sí, ahorita le voy a mandar a alguien. This is room number. Ah, el que está conmigo ahorita. Ahorita, ¿en qué sala es esta? No lo sé. Ay, uh, number two, number two. Uh, okay, Fátima is going to practice with you. Okay, teacher. There you go, <laughs> Fátima is here, just coming. Teacher. Hello. How, how a question? Sería. Uh, eh? Would you mind? In Spanish? Le importaría. Le importaría. Oh. Okay. Le importaría. Hello, baby. Abrir la ventana. Hello, baby. Dice, Hello. ¿por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué no es? Would you mind open the window? Ah, eso ya lo vamos a ver en la clase. Ya se fijó, ¿verdad? Ajá. Pues sí, porque, porque tendría que ser Would you mind open the window? Abrir la ventana. Pero si lo está diciendo Would you mind opening? Le importaría Estar abriendo la, ven la ventana. Ay, porque usted traduciendo. Don't translate. Ya, pues sí, o sea, yo, yo lo, lo, lo tomé como, como el, como el, como el simple present. 
opening, abriendo. Present progressive. Ese, Ajá. ese, progressive opening. Ya tú, se lo a la Bueno. No, no, no es que, no es que lo haya traducido, pero sí. Bueno, es que... la estructura. La estructura, la estructura es así porque oh, mind oh, es un verbo. Mind es verbo. Mind. El verbo ahí importare. es mind. Would you mind? Ajá, te importaría. O sea, o sea que. Entonces, opening share. está como un noun. Mm. O un gerund. Ajá. Would you mind opening the window? Te importaría la. Ok, yo ya entendí. O sea que prácticamente would solo es el ia, ¿verdad? Exactly. Así como el auxiliar did hace el verbo en pasado, como Ajá. el poder, will, food, future, etc. Practice, please. ¿Ya practicaron? Sí. Ok, great. So I think we're going to go back to the, to the main session. The main Que tiene por el micrófono. Y según yo me estaban escuchando. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I was saying that. that the yo lo vi que sacó el dedo ahí, teacher. Yo dije estar hablando con alguien. The teacher is a queen. Look, look, look. Yeah. No, a little bit more. Like that. Look. The teacher <laughs> is a queen. She has a crown. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, guys. So let's continue with the other part of the lesson. Okay. Fatima says that she has problems with the internet connection. Oh, I'm so sorry for that, Fatima. Okay, guys, so, bueno, so uh, I don't know if you could notice, si se fijaron, if you could notice, um, and in the difference, the, with the use of could you print out and would you mind opening? What's the difference? Print opening. Ah, que con yeah. could you usamos el verbo no, en su forma básica, ¿verdad? Okay. Print, no printing, print. Y, but we, would you mind, we use the verb in the ing form. Would you mind opening the window? Vamos a ver ahora, antes de pasar a la grammar's explanation. Activity number three. Think of five requests you need to ask in your work in your workplace. But de qué cosas le piden ustedes a sus compañeros en el en de trabajo que que de favores, verdad? Por ejemplo, pedimos imprimir. ¿Qué más? Yo. Print. Yo. Give. I'm sorry. Me. Give me. Quieren escribirlo en el chat. Porro. Teacher, okay. yo, 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 yo los pido a veces, pero no sé cómo decirlo. Bueno. Will you, will you, will you cutting? Entonces sería, will you cutting eh, paper, my paper, please. Ah, sería, would you mind, would you mind cutting my paper? Cutting the paper. Mm -hmm. Okay, other? Would you mind? Well, I, in, my, in my, at my job, at work, I ask my coworkers to print out some documents sometimes. 
sometimes I ask them to change a bill for coins. Okay, Carla says invoice in mail. Okay, pass the forms. Send documents or files. Hey, what do you mean with quotation, Fatima? What is the teacher? How do you say mm, Okay, that is a technical term. Déjeme buscar. It's como object. Ah, uh -huh, aha, so in quotations. Quotation. Pero dice aquí, mire, quotation sale como cita, cotización, citación, price. We request or, or, or we can provide, it depends on the... Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you are right. Quoting. Mm -hmm. Quotation. Entonces sería... Could you please send me the quotations or in the chat we have more is request reports okay Len Len thing. Answer a call, request reports. What about asking for a ride? Give a ride. No, not give a ride. Ask for a ride. Okay, very good. Thank you, guys, for your idea. Oh, <laughs> okay. So in number four, we have um, uh, we have here a very important information about the use of request. Request can be a verb, puede ser un verbo, and also it can be a noun, un verbo o un sustantivo. Okay, as a verb, it means ask something politely. Pedir algo de forma amable. ¿verdad? Request a new phone, please. Dice, pida un nuevo teléfono, por favor. But also you can use request as a noun. It's something asked for, algo que se ha pedido. My boss usually has many requests for me. Mi jefe siempre... Usualmente tiene muchas cosas que me, por, que me pide, ¿verdad? Requests. Requerimientos o cosas que... Requests que son... Que les piden. Uh -huh. Ok, guys. Now, in the use of... Could you... Oh, we have a message. Bring documents. Ok, very good, Cristina. Thank you. Ok, in the next exercise... We have could you and would you. Use could you and would you mind to ask polite requests para pedir cosas amablemente. Example, could you call me later, please? Sure. Could you make 10 copies of this paper? Right away. Could you contact the tech support? 
No problem. So what is, what, is the, what is the structure <laughs> or what is the what's the structure of the formula for the use of could you? Easy. Could you base form of the verb plus the complement? Example. Uh, let me see. Domingo, can you please read the example? The ejercicio. Uh, could you take to could you take me to the airport? Oh, excellent. Could you take me to the airport? Great airport. example of airport. your own. Y aquí les Ay, da... <laughs> hice los ejercicios de la tarea del oh, oh, great. That's why. You see? That's why it's very important to do the homework and the exercises because you learn and you can give um, <laughs> you can give more examples to the class, okay? And the example I wrote here is, could you send me the report, please? Mire, Domingo, ya le echaron ahí. Flores, mire, Alfredo. <laughs> le está diciendo congratulations, my friend. Okay, so could you send me the report, please? Look, could you? Send is the verb. And then the complement. Could you send me the report, please? Entonces, tenemos a store a request with could you follow by what is the correct uh, the correct option? The base form or the ING form? Vamos a ver, ¿quién me puede responder? The base form. The base form, exactly. Of the main, of the main verb plus any complement phrase. Answers to request with could you are not normally yes I could or yes I can. O sea, ¿Cómo respondemos cuando alguien nos pide eso? Miren cómo se responde. Sure, right away, no problem. The expected answers are the actions that are requested or short answers like the ones in the examples above. Entonces, no le dicen, oh, yes, I could, or yes, I can. No, no se responde así. Se responde, yes, of course, or sure, right away, no problem, porque se espera que se haga la acción en el momento. ¿Y qué, y qué, 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 ¿Qué significa right away? Ahorita. Ahorititita. Okay. Ahorititita. <risa> ¿Y sure? Sí, claro, seguro. Seguro, sure. Ajá, yo pensé que era. Sure. Okay. Sure, eh. sure. 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 No problem. Sure. Repeat after right, me, right. please. Everybody, sure. 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 Right away. 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 No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. Okay. No problem. Okay, so now it's time for you to practice, guys. Could you? Look at this example. I'm going to the supermarket. Me dice alguien, ¿verdad? Y otra persona le pide algo. Could you please buy some milk? Sure, no problem. So, could you is used as a polite way to ask for something. Entonces, es para pedir algo, pero de una forma así bien, bien educada, bien amable, bien civilizada, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿me podrías comprar algo de leche? Sure, no problem. So, now, complete the conversations below by making polite requests. For example, I'm going to Starbucks. Could you please get me a cup of coffee? I'm going to the library. Teacher. I'm going to our English class. ¿Qué podrían pedir a, a alguien que va para la biblioteca o alguien que va para la clase? Entonces, 
please bring me a book? Okay, could you please bring me a nice book? Okay, uh, please, can you please um, write your ideas also in the chat? Pero me las pueden decir así, oralmente. And please do these exercises in your notebook too. Trabajemos en el cuadernito. Please. Teacher, yes. Una consulta. El code se siempre siempre diría al principio. No lo podemos poner como al final. No, va al principio porque es una pregunta y como es un auxiliar para el pa inicio. Vamos, o sea que vamos a ocupar el could solo para preguntas. No la podemos utilizar como para respuestas. En esta, en este En este tema, no. Ok. Porque el CUT también, como les explicaba ayer, sí lo podemos utilizar de, de varias maneras porque también es el pasado de CAN. Uh -huh. Ok. Entonces sí se puede redactarlo ya como una, una pregunta, pero no en este tema, ¿verdad? Ajá, en este tema. Como una respuesta, perdón. Sí, en este tema porque estamos, es, es el de pedir, ¿verdad? hacer, pedir algo, por, pedir algo de forma amable, ¿verdad? Politely. Así. Solo en una, en una pregunta negativa se puede utilizar. ¿Verdad, Techo? ¿Cómo así? El cool. Pero, pero acá no tenemos preguntas negativas. O sea, Una pregunta del pasado, negativa. perdón. Pregunta del pasado. Ah, sí, sí una sí, pregunta verdad. del pasado, pero igual, igual va al inicio. Did cool, did you cool. Vamos a ver, Víctor puso aquí un ejemplo. Could you tell the teacher? Ah, bueno, entonces ahí sería Víctor... Could you tell the teacher, I'm going to be a little bit late, a few minutes late, because I have to send a report. But good idea. I like your idea. Could you, could you tell the teacher, I'm going to be a few minutes late. And a report. Excellent. Yo puse. Could you please Could you bring your history book? Excellent, Carlos. Could you take me what? En la número tres. Sí, pero le falta el complemento. Podría llevarme. Ah, para ir con él. Sería. <laughs> sí. Ah, pues sería así, mire. Could you take me with you? Or you. could I go with you? Could you take me with you? Could I go with you? ¿Podría ir contigo? Could I go with you? Mm. Ok. Okay. Son dos respuestas iguales, ¿no? solo que es diferente. Could you please take one book of the history? Ah, vaya, could you please take me? Sería, mire, Domingo. Could you... 
Could you please take me or bring me a history book? Okay, now the next, there are more ex exercises here. For example, I'm going to the kitchen, I'm going to London, I'm going to the vegetable market, I'm going to McDonald's, I'm going to the post office, I'm going to a pet shop, I'm going home. Mm -hmm. So what ideas come to your mind? Okay, could you deliver the advanced English book that we are practicing? Could you please buy me a literature booker? Okay. <laughs> could you please lend me the calculator? Okay, what about this, uh, the number four? Oh, number seven. Could you please buy me a Big Mac? Yeah, with French fries and an apple pie. Oh, I, 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 yeah, I feel like eating a hamburger. So maybe tomorrow I'm gonna buy it for lunch. <laughs> okay, what about number four? I'm going to the kitchen. Okay, Christina says, could you make this invoice? Mm -hmm. How, when somebody is going to um, the bank, right? Sometimes we ask them favors or requests. Teacher, es necesario ocupar el could, could you, could you please? O sea, el please después de, de could you. No, va. No, because could is already polite. But you can also say, could you bring me a soft drink? Very good for number four. Could you bring me a glass of water, please? Or could you bring me a glass of water? Excellent, Matias. What about number five? I'm going to London. Number nine, could you please bring me a coir for my pet? Oh, my daily for the pet, <laughs> for your pet, okay. Also, could you, could you bring me some food? Could you buy me some food for my dog or for my cat or for my fish or for my parrot? Oh, I'm going to London. Could you bring me a gift, please? <laughs> A souvenir. Ya saben que es un souvenir. Souvenirs son esas cositas que uno compra cuando va a un lugar y recuerditas. Uh -huh. Souvenir. Souvenir. I'm going to the vegetable market. Can you buy me some onions, please? I don't have. <laughs> Could you call me when you arrive? I'm going home. Excellent, Victor David. Nice example. Number five, could you visit our uncle in London? Okay, nice. Wow, I love your ideas, guys. Your brain is working a lot this moment. Your hamsters. Could you bring me one potato, one small potato, please? <laughs> small potato. Recuérdese que los adjectives go before the nouns. Vamos a ver a quién no he visto que ha escrito en el chat. Vamos a ver quiénes están ahí de tímidos hoy.
Karina ya no es mi bion. Pinta. Marquito. Carlitos. What time is it? Ah, it's almost time for the attendance. Okay, one more example. One more, one more. Could you bring me a souvenir? Okay, souvenir. S O U V E N I R. Souvenir. Could you go get my brother in London? Mm. Could you get my brother at London? Could you please? Could you please me food for pet? Could you please buy me food for pet? Pet food. Pet food. Could you bring me a suit? Oh. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go for the next activity. Now, after practicing with could you, now you're going to learn how to use would you mind? Okay? Would you mind? Aquí escribieron. Could you bring me a dog's belt? Sería dog's belt. Could you buy cucumbers and lemon for lunch? Okay, great, Alfredo. Okay, now with the requesting a phrase, would you mind? Would you mind? Vamos a ver aquí, le voy a corregir. Dog's belt. Okay. Uh, would you mind calling the plan manager right away? Would you mind getting an appointment with the human resources for me in a minute? Would you mind sending this box to the cleaning department? Not a problem. Okay, so what is the formula? What is the structure of using uh, would you mind? It's easy. First, we start with would you mind, and then we use the verb in base form or ing form. ing. ing. Excellent. Plus the complement phrase. Mm -hmm. Would you mind? And then you have to use the ing form. This is the difference with could you, because with could you, you have to use base form. But with would you mind, you have to use the verb in the ing form. And you can see the example here. Would you mind sending me the report? Y significa lo mismo que could you send me the report? Pero yo creo que would you mind es todavía más formal, más, más amable, <laughs> todavía más. Pero ambos, ambos son polite requests. Would you mind sending me the report? Y aquí pueden ver esos ejemplos. You can see the examples. Would you mind calling? Would you mind getting? Would you mind sending? Entonces, vamos a ver. Um, okay. The ING. Is that a request with would you mind plus? The ing form of the main verb plus any complement phrase. What are the expected answers for request for requests with would you mind? They are not usually no, I would not, no, I would not mind. But are the actions that are requested or short answers like right away, in a minute, not a problem, sure, go ahead, etc. Entonces, ¿qué quiere decir esto? Que, ¿cómo respondemos a eso? Con una, con una frase corta, una respuesta corta, así como ahorita, sí, sí, ahorita, no se preocupe. En un minuto, en un segundo. Are you ready to practice? Yes. Or are you ready to say present, teacher? Present, yes, teacher. Okay, so let's start taking the attendance for the second time. So you already know. Ahora vamos a empezar de abajo para arriba. 
Ja, 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 ja. Nunca he comenzado así, teacher. Perdón. Nunca he comenzado así. Pues hoy. There's, ya hora, ya hora. there's always a first time. William Eduardo Pérez García. Gracias. Walter Gracias. Daniel González Pérez. No está Walter Daniel. No es bueno, Walter. No, es kidding. Víctor Salazar Calzadilla. Present. Sandra y Amelia Velázquez. Present. Salvador Escobar. Present. Rocío Martínez. Rocío is not in the class today. Nancy Rodríguez. Present teacher. Maideli Díaz. Present. Mauricio Majano. Present. Marlon Cardona. Oh, Marlon is absent. Okay, what about Marco Velasquez? Present. Karina oh, Espinosa. Present. Lemus Ramírez, José Matías. Present, present. Present, present, teacher. Fátima Portillo, de Hernández. Mrs. Hernández. Teacher, ya me mencionó, disculpe, que se me cayó el internet, la señal. Fátima. <ríe> Portillo, de Hernández. Todo no, bien, ¿no? Domingo Alexander González. Present. Carlos, no, perdón, Cristina Romero. Oyente. Ahí dice present. <ríe> ok. We continue with Carlos o Alberto Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Carla Maritza Sánchez. Present. Alfredo Rodas Rodríguez. Present. En Alba Castillo. Yes, Castillo. Thank you so much. Yes. The majority is here except Rocio. Rocio and somebody else. I don't remember the other person. Oh, Marlon. Marlon Cardona. Okay. So let's see. What do we have next? Oh, the practice. Now, I, I see you very anxious, very eager. Teacher, right now, teacher, we want to participate. We want to do the exercises using with your mind. Yeah, I love being anxious, right? Alfredo, for example. Miren, Alfredo. Look at Alfredo. Okay, would you mind? Ah, ¿qué vamos a hacer aquí? Okay, so we have in this exercise, you have to match the halves of the expressions and write the requests. Start with, could you? Bueno, por ejemplo, number two, lend back on your phone. Lend me your phone. Vamos a ver otro. Take. The door open, my photo, this letter, the volume, the volume down, or me a lift. This letter? This letter. Okay, take this letter. Lend me your phone. Hold. Hold the door open. Okay, hold the door open. Give. Give me a lift. Give me, give me a lift or give me a right, right? Turn. Turn the volume, the the volume down. down. Turn the volume down, please. I can't hear the teacher. The teacher is, is speaking, explaining so much, but you have the music so loud that I can't hear her. Please turn the volume down. Could you? Could you turn the volume down, please? Would you mind turning the volume down? Post. 
Pause my photo. Pause my photo. Okay. okay, now, what would you write in number? Okay, the number one says, could you lend me your phone, please? The number two, como sería? Well, you mind lending. Eighteen. Eighteen. Bueno, porque ahorita quiero hacer algo. Okay. Number two. Uh -huh. Could you? Yeah. What verb? Take. Give me a leaf. Would you? Así como. Would you mind? Right. Could you give me a lift? Or can you give me a ride? Uh, or do you mind? Could you give me go to my take me a life? Could you give me a lift? Okay, lift. number three. Eso sí no lo entiendo. Al teléfono. Uy. Could you lend? Could you take the so you leave Send me your phone. phone. Other phone. No. Uh, no my phone. major phone. Major phone. Major phone. Give me. Major phone. Could so you lend me your phone? So you you lend major, phone. major phone. No. Es cool. Echo. You post Echo. my photo. Mm -hmm. Cool. Could you post my photo? Yes. Ah, sí. Es por yes, más. Es una cámara, no es un teléfono. Uh -huh. Algo así se ve. Ay, yo creo que estoy escribiendo. Ok, could you post my photo? Ok, number four. Will you turn, 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 turn the volume, the volume down. down? Turn the volume down. Okay, number five. Could you take this letter? So maybe he's going to the post office, right? For you. You? Okay. Good. And the last one? Could you call? Call the door open. Oh, no, no, no. Excellent. Call Could you hold the door open? Bye. Now you're going to rewrite the request, but now you have to use would you mind? Veamos en el chat. Write in the chat, please. Pause in the chat your answers. Example. Could you lend me your phone, please? In using would you mind would be, would you mind lending me your phone, please? Usando el ING form. Would you mind lending me your phone, please? Number two, could, would you mind giving me a lift? Teacher, esa, esa pregunta la vamos a hacer con respecto a lo que nosotros, o sea, nosotros la vamos a inventar o con respecto a lo que está ahí. No, lo que está aquí. Van a rewrite, reescribir. La, ah, ok. A rewrite a request, but use would you mind. Son las mismas. Pero, pero con lo que ya no van a usar could, sino que van a usar would you mind. Y el okay. ing form of the verb. Okay. Would you mind posting my photo? Sí, vamos a ir en orden. Vaya, Alfredo. Would you mind giving me, Give me. giving me a lift? Ahí está. Excellent. Okay, what about number three? 
Would you mind posting my po photo? Excellent. Posting my photo. Number four. Would you mind? Turning. 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 Would you mind turning the volume down? Oh. Would you mind Thank you guys for your, your chat. Mm -hmm. Teacher, allí iría separado. Turning the, the volume. Ah, yes, thank you. Number five. Could you take it? Could you put my taking a letter? Taking this letter. Do you mind taking this letter? And number six, the last one. Well, do you mind holding the door open? Oh, you're so smart, so intelligent, guys. You should be the teacher. This is so easy for you. Excellent. ¿Saben? ¿Quieren saber cuántos sacaron? Zero. Zero. <laughs> Qué malo. Ten out of... Um, no, no, no se puede porque me dice. Ten. Excellent. Ok. Ay, ay, ay. No fui, el, no fui a la escuela. I'm sorry. Ok, let's continue. Ay. Your turn. Write by my request you receive or give at your workplace. Ajá, vaya, eso van a escribir. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six requests that you receive or give at your workplace. Lo que podemos hacer es hacer ya de un solo las preguntas. Pueden hacer tres con could you and three, and three with would you mind. ¿Está bien? ¿Es that okay? <gasps> Dios mío, X912. Lo vamos a hacer en, 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 les voy a hacer grupitos aquí para que ahí interactúen, ¿verdad? Y se ayuden unos a otros. Write polite request you receive or give at your workplace. Vale, lo vamos a hacer así en three, three requests with could you and three requests with would you. And in pairs. Y después... Una de esas conversaciones, you are going to present it in front of the class. Or you can, okay, we can have two options. One option is to record your conversation and send it in the WhatsApp group or showing in the, in the, in the class here. ¿Qué prefieren? Showing in the class. Okay, excellent. I agree with you. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to assign your, your pairs, your partners. Are you ready for that? ¿Qué van a hacer? Can somebody tell me? I don't know. Vamos a escribir tres preguntas. Right, right. No, polite okay. requests. Ajá, Nancy. Tres preguntas de Kubju. Y tres de... No es así. Yes. Would you mind? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ok. Excelente. Y luego, 
en, con su compañero lo van a practicar con las answers, with answers. Tiene que responder usted y van a, van a presentarla en frente de sus compañeritos. Van a presentar una con could you. La va, bueno, por ejemplo, digamos que Nancy va con Marco. Entonces Nancy hace la de could you y Marco le responde. ¿verdad? Luego Marco le dice con would you mind y Nancy le responde with a short answer. ¿Got it? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Bueno, entonces ahorita I'm going to send you to the break room so that you can work with your partners. William Eduardo puede trabajar con Víctor. Puede entrar a la sala. Yes, no, maybe. No me ha caído la invitación, dice. Mm -hmm. Permítame. No. Bien, ya estoy con Salvador, dice de Viente. Pero aquí me sale, mire, en la sala 4, con Víctor. Con Salvador, estoy de Viente. No. Ajá. No, teacher. Ah, es que lo que pasa es que, que estoy conectado con dos dispositivos, como me sabe... Tengo mala la señal del internet, me saca de uno, me entro ah. con el otro. No sé. Bueno, por ahí sale que está con Víctor. Entre con Víctor. Porque está solito, Víctor. Hola, Víctor.
teacher, ¿verdad que la de would you, la de world sería you, would you mean? Would you mind? <ríe> would you mind? Así, ¿verdad? Ajá. A ver. M más el ing form of the verb. Yes. Uh -huh. Teacher, y ambas tienen respuestas cortas. Yes. Okay. ok. Sure. No problem. Right away. Right away. In, right a, away. in a second. Okay. Of course. Ese es otro. Of course. Aquí le voy a escribir las answers. Thank you, teacher. In your chat. Hello, teacher. How are you? I am fine, and you? Yes, I'm good too. Only late for class, but I, I am okay. <laughs> Yes, I can see that. But is everything all right? Yes, uh, we are. Uh, uh, yeah. Seeing the the difference of cool and wool. Okay, Matias is your teacher right now. He's explaining to you. Exactly. Rocio, I have a, now that I am here with you and in Matias, <laughs> but um. I want to ask you about the work in the platform, Rocio. Yes, uh, this day I, uh, I, I will do. Please. Yes. Okay, I, I, I already sent a report because I have to do it today. Okay. But um, yes, I mean, you still have time, you still have opportunity, okay? So try okay. to as soon as you can. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Yes, Matias. Eh, verdad que teníamos que hacer tres oraciones con cool y tres oraciones con wool. Así era, verdad. Eso lo entendí. Y tendría que ser respectivamente de sí preguntas y tendría que ser exclusivamente de nuestro trabajo. No, not exactly. Es que con ella los estuvimos viendo ahorita porque como me preguntó que cuál era la diferencia entre el wool y el, y el cool, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces estuvimos ahí practicando más que todo. Eso, ¿ah? Uh -huh. Explicándole a mi manera, tal vez podría decir, ajá. Pero yo sé que ella puede eso. Yeah, she's very intelligent and smart. Sí. And fast learner. <laughs> okay, so do you have any other question? If not, I'm going to move to another group. It's okay, teacher. No. Yeah, no, teacher. Blue. Hello, Mar Mauricio. Hello, Cristina. Hello, teacher. How is, how is it going? Can I help you? Eh, en el chat las estamos escribiendo, teacher. Okay, with Cristina. Eh, solo que me dice ella que uno tiene que responder, uno pregunta y otro responde. Yes. Así es. Uh -huh. Ah, pero esas respuestas son pueden ser cortas. Exacto. Ahí les puse, ahí les mandé oh, okay. a todos los short answers. 
possible short answers like sure, no problem, not a problem, of course, right away, in a minute, in a second, etc. Les voy, le voy a mandar a Fátima. Ah, no, a Víctor. No, Fátima en el room five. También con alguien de oyente. De verdad. Uh, tengo la... Tengo... Por... ¿Se la digo? Teacher, tengo problemas uh, con la red. Me saca cada dos minutos hoy. De la clase. Yeah, I could see that. No sé, ese, ese era mi internet, o es, no es la plataforma verdad. No, porque solo a usted y creo que hay alguien más también, pero que se salen y Cada minuto quizás me está sacando. Uh -huh. I'm so sorry for Yo that. Yo estaba así, por eso estoy en una computadora ahora. Mm. Bueno, me tocará probar quizás de next class. Sí, porque cada sí se me estabilizó. Ayer no pude ni participar en, en nada. Hmm. Hmm. No, no, no. Ay, sí. Yo las que tengo. Lo sentí. I understand you because when I had the, those problems, it's very frustrating. Yes, we can't concentrate. Yeah. Lagrimita. Yeah, but let's try to do our best. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. We have to, to write sentences, right? Using who and who. Questions. Ah, questions. Mm -hmm. Because they are requests. Peticiones. Mm -hmm. I did some. Would you like Aria? Uh -huh. O sea, ¿qué les podría y este Arias? Sí, el Gorju es Arias. Ajá, Gorju, Arias esto. Ajá, Gorju. Hell, así como las otras. Would you bring. Y, la, y, y con you es, podría, es como pedir, pedir de favor, como pedir. Uh -huh. Would you mind? Could you? And would you mind? Would you mind? Would, would you, you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind? ¿Te importaría? Would you mind? Ah, ok. Would yes, you me. mind sharing with me your, your requests? Uh -huh. Importaría. Sending, ahí utilizamos ING, ¿verdad? ING. Sí. En Gold, Gold You. Would you mind? Mind. Plus ING. Mind. I'm working. I'm working. 
Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Yes. Uh, uh, I have a sentence with with world you mind. Turning off the music. I am working. It's okay. Can you repeat, please? Would you mind? Turning off the music. I am working. Uh, would you mind turning? Turning. See, turning off. Oh, turning off the music while I'm working? While? While. Mm -hmm. Se Why? escribe W-H-I-L-E. Se va a escribir ahí. While. Vamos a mandar a Carlos por ver. Why, ah, okay, okay. Why, While I'm why working. I'm working. Why I'm working. Uh, the answer can be uh, of course. Of course. Would you mind ending the meeting? No problem. Okay. Teacher, ya tenemos ahí todo. Excellent. So you can be the first students to present. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, great. Thank you. Nancy, Let me check the last. Los primeros. Great. <laughs> Hello guys, how are you doing? Hello teacher. ¿Cómo van? Solo una me falta. Ok, Karina, ¿verdad que con usted ya me quedé, verdad? A la sesión. También con Marco, entonces hoy me Marlon no está, me tocaría con Mauricio. Con Mauricio. Very good. So uh, we have some volunteers to start the presentations. That's going to be Alfredo with Nancy. Okay. <laughs> and they will do the next one. <laughs> Thank you for volunteering. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy, you can be Okay. Can you help me homework? 
Sure, no problem. What do you mean? Making the, the chart? Would no you way. mind? I'm sorry, can you repeat, Nancy? Would you mind? Would you mind? Y digo la oración, ¿verdad? Sí. Would you mind making the chart? The chart. Right away. Mis ejemplos también, teacher. <laughs> Dígalo. Oh, yes. Could you give me your laptop? Um, in a minute. Okay. Um, would you mind ending the meeting? Uh, no problem. Finish this. <laughs> I know. Applauses, please. Yes. Okay. Uh, who are the next, Nancy? Um, elijo uno, teacher. Please. Ahorita, permítame, vamos a ver las caras. Lo, al más afligido. Al más afligido. Hay que esté dormido, teacher. Para que no tenga encendidas las cámaras. Ajá. Okay. Cabal, uno Mauricio de los que tiene apagada la cámara. Mauricio Majano. <ríe> okay, Mauricio. You are the chosen yeah. one. Eh, nosotros las escribimos en el chat. Eh, could you do the could you fix the computer? And who's your partner, Mauricio? Eh, estaba de oyente, teacher. Ah. Cristina. Eh, Cristina, Cristina, sí. Yes. Ah, ok. Continue. Okay. Y Cristina no le puede responder. Would you, el chat. <laughs> would you do the cleaning in the office? Could you, do could, you do, could you do the homework for me? Mm, I'm sorry, <laughs> but I can't do that. Okay, you what about you, Sing? Would you mind? What? Would you mind? Would you mind doing my homework? Would you mind doing my homework? <sighs> I'm sorry, but I, um, I do mind doing your homework, okay? <laughs> Next. Uh, okay, thank you so much. Congratulations. Okay, Mauricio, who's next? Eh, eh, Domingo. Okay, Domingo. And who's your partner, Domingo? Problemas con internet. ¿Con quién va, Domingo? Who's your partner? Marco. Marco. Okay. Uh, All right. Call, call, call you same this package. 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 A uh, package. Okay. Call you same this package. Uh, sure, no problem. Call you bring me to copy of the class. Sure, no problem. <laughs> Could you buy okay. 
Bay será. Call you Bay means Bay me. Bay me. Call you Bay me a salad. Right away. Can you could you buy me a salad? Could you ah, can you buy me a salad? Okay, gracias. Salad. Thank you. Go you go you me go you my go you my sending this medicine 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 all right go call you apple or repeat it call you my sending this this medicine right away go you my taking my to the terminal taking me to the terminal sure uh, no problem okay. would you would you mind domingo would would you mind would you mind yeah okay would you mind would you mind lighting me i tour así se herramienta turba tour tour okay uh que te respondo Sure, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much, guys. Good job. Okay, and Domingo, who is next? Uh, no los veo aquí. Alba y Nora. Okay, Alba y Nora. Dinorita. Okay. Inicia Carla. Eh, Alba, could yes. you send the monthly report by email? Hello. Of course, no problem. Carla, would you may open my would you may opening my email? Mm -hmm. In a second. Finish. Excellent. Thank you so much, girls. Okay, Carla, choose the next one, please. Let me see. Okay. Walter Daniel. Okay. Carlos Alberto. Okay. My partner. <laughs> He's ready. Could you please practice English with me at noon? With, for sure. Could you help me with this repair, this machine? Sure, no problem. Could you bring me the tools in the table? Right away. And would you mind? Would, would you mind uh, giving the report last week? Right away, boss. <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind turning off the music while I am working? Of course. Hey, good job, guys. Very creative. Thank you. Okay, okay Carlos, choose the next one. Um, let me see. Fátima Portillo. Okay, Fátima. I was working with Victor. With Victor. And Sadia. Okay. Who will make the question? Me or Victor? Victor. Star Victor. <laughs> Gentlemen first. Okay. And um, would you mind closing your Facebook? Oh, 
Oh, I think Fatima. Tiene yeah. problemas con aquí. Yeah, she, yeah, she had problems. Okay, maybe she she comes back in a minute. Can you choose the next one, Victor? I think. Can you raise your hand if you haven't participated yet? ¿Quiénes no han participado? Está Rocío con ah Rocío y Matías, eh, Karina, William, Maideli, Chris, no qué es ella. Salvador es oyente. Quizás Rocío y Matías. Okay. Oh, Fatima is back. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Would you Continue, mind? Please. Would you mind help helping to fix the internet? <laughs> I hope. <In> away. <laughs> okay. Uh, could you come to work this coming Saturday? No, le escuché bien. Could, Could you come, come to, to work this coming Saturday? Oh, sure. Or could you go? Okay. Would you mind um, doing the presentation in the meeting? No problem. Okay. Thank you, guys. Very good. Okay, now Rocio and Matias. <laughs> hey, teacher. Yo le estaba respondiendo a ella, a la otra muchacha. A Fátima. <laughs> sí. ¿Y viste qué hizo? <laughs> ah, okay, no hay problema. Dale, Rocío. Ya me hicieron relajo. Matías, could you explain me the class, please? No problem. Matías, eh, would you mind let, letting me your homework, please? Right away. Uh, Matias, could you give me your cell phone number, please? Right now. <laughs> Later. <laughs> <laughs> oh my bye, god. Bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Welcome. <laughs> Who is missing? Who's missing? Búsqueda. O oh, no sé, perdida. ¿Quién es quién es falta? Who's missing? Ah, who's missing? A Carlos Alberto, creo. No. no, he already passed. <laughs> well, but we don't have, I mean, it's already, it's almost 10. So, guys, I'm going to share the last activity, the wrap-up. I have a couple of exercises that you need to complete, you need to work on. This is to consolidate your learning of the request. You can use the following two expressions to make polite requests. Could you plus infinitive? And would you mind plus the verb in the ing form? Example, could you plus infinitive? Could you turn off your phone? Would you mind plus verb in the ing? Example, would you mind opening the window? 
Now, underline the correct expression to complete each request. Okay, help me please to underline. Could you or would you mind bring me some milk for my coffee? Would you like? Tonight. Would you mean? Would you mind bring? Bring me. ¿Cuál sería el correcto? No, no. Sería cool you like. Cool ah, miren, cool dice you. bring. Ajá. Cool Entonces, you. the correct cool expression you. is. Could you? Could you bring me some meal for my coffee? Okay, number two. Would you or would you mind answering the door? Would you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind, mind. Would you mind answering the door? Could you or would you mind go to the shop for me? Could you? Would you? Could you? Could you? Could you go to the shop for me? Uh -huh. Could you or would you mind turning off the music? Turning. Would you? Would you? Would you, would you mind turning? Exactly. Would you, would you mind? Or, or would you mind bringing me a drink? Would you, would you mind, mind bringing me a drink? Could you or would you mind repeat the question? Would you, would you repeat the question? Okay, excellent. Give the polite request with the correct form of the verse in brackets. Would you mind bringing me a coffee? Okay. Would you mind bringing me a coffee? Could you? <laughs> Could you lend, lend me your pen? pen? Could you lend me your pen? Would you mind? Mind calling a taxi for me. Calling a taxi for me. An, an Uber, an Uber. Could you? Close, close, close. Close the, the door. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Would you mind? Getting, 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 getting a, glass a glass of water. Okay, you six. Carry, would you? Are you carrying carry, 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 this bag for this me? Bag for okay. me. Seven. Would you? Would you putting? Putting. 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 your phones on silent. Number <laughs> eight. Help me. Help. Helping. 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 Helping me. Helping me with my homework. Okay, excellent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Next exercise. I sorry. Match each polite request to a suitable response. Uh -huh. The request with the answer or response. For example, could you tell me when the train leaves? A ver si la pueden hacer ustedes. Sí, sure, it leaves at 9 a.m. Sure, it leaves at 9 a.m. Okay. Would you mind closing the door? No problem. Let me help you. Could you bring me a coffee? Of course. Of course. Do you taste sugar? Sugar. sugar. <laughs> Would you mind helping me with my bags? Check what you need. Yes, but. Yes, what do you need? Of course. Of course, I'll slow, slow down. Adivinando. Mm. Adivinando están, Kavan. He <laughs> prefer not to. I'm hot. Que malo, <laughs> miren. I prefer not to. <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind helping me with my bags? I prefer not to. <laughs> okay. 
Could you do me a favor? Yes, what do you need? Would you mind speaking slowly, teacher, because you speak so fast when you give the instructions mm -hmm. and I don't understand. Would you mind speaking slowly, please? Of course, I'll slow down. down. Oops, there was, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Could you see what happened? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Okay. Thank you. Okay, guys, what did you learn today in this class? Will you, will you. To make question using cool and will you mind? Exactly, could you? And would uh, you mind? Would you mind? Uh -huh. As requests, as polite very, requests. As very polite old. Yes, with, with could you, we use an infinitive or ing form. Infinitive. Infinitive. And with the, would you mind, we use? ING form. ING, ING form. form. Okay, great. I just have a question. Is Mauricio, oh yes, Mauricio is here. Mauricio, can you stay for the 10 minute session today? Mauricio, could you stay for the 10 minute session today? Would you mind staying 10 more minutes after class? Uh, now yeah. yes today yes after class for the class yes. in a <laughs> sure yes. teacher no problem of course <laughs> <laughs> okay guys no problem would you, would you mind okay thank you would you mind saying present if you're here no yes. problem teacher okay alba dinora Present. Alfredo. Present. Carla Maritza. Present. Carlos Gualberto. Present. Cristina Roxana. Domingo I, González. Present. Cristina. Fátima Portillo. Present. José Matías. Here. Karina Espinosa. Present. Marco Velázquez, Marlon Cardona, no. Mauricio Majano. Present. Maideli Judith. Maideli. In the chat. Yuyente, teacher. Okay. Um, Rocío. Salvador Escobar. Present teacher. Sandra Velázquez. Víctor Salazar. Present. ¿Y Sandra? Ah, ok. Uh, Walter González. Present. En William Pérez. Teacher. Oh, teacher, no me mencionó. Teacher. Sandra, Sandra dijo present en el chat. Ay, perdón, Fátima. No, perdón, Nancy, ¿verdad? Ya no veo, ya sí. es el sueño. Nancy. <risa> Cristina dijo. Cristina, Maite del dijo presente. Sandra dijo presente. Y William Eduardo Pérez dijo presente. Okay, thank you, my secretary, my assistant. Personal <laughs> 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 personal assistant, the, the, the teacher assistant, the TA. Okay, guys, it was a pleasure. It was a nice class. I really enjoyed it. So see thank you. Tomorrow. You. Hope to see you tomorrow. Remember. We can make it. Tomorrow is Friday, the last day of the class, and then we are going to rest today. So let's make it. Okay? Okay. okay. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Ay, disculpa, Mauricio, que boté la cortinita. <risa> Se me cayó. Voy a ver si puedo arreglarla. No, que no. No problem, teacher. <risa> ok, Mauricio, este, veo que usted a veces tiene problemas para conectarse a tiempo. Sí, teacher, es que como trabajo hasta el estadio Cuscatlán y vivo hasta aquí en San Martín. O sea, sí, tiene siempre que... me agarra el tráfico. Sí, es cierto, todo el bulevar del Ejército Nacional, Magilopango. Sí. I am so sorry for you. <risa> Pero sí, siempre trate de hacer el esfuerzo de estar conectado. Y realmente admiro mucho a que hace el esfuerzo por estar en clase y lo felicito por eso, ¿no? por echarle ganas. La verdad es que vale la pena. ¿verdad? Gracias, Sicho. Eh, tenía unas dudas, Chero. Okay. Con el, eh, el pasado simple y el pasado uh -huh. participo. ¿Cuál, cuál, ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Porque quiero ver. En el pasado, yo le voy a explicar lo que he entendido. En el pasado simple, ¿verdad? Que solo es ED, ¿verdad? Algunos verbos que son regulares, agregales, ED. Y en los irregulares, he entendido que son los que cambian su forma. Pero eso es en el pasado simple. Pero en el, pasa, en el otro pasado, ahí es donde me confundo. Los regulares son, es el mismo, es igual, con ED. Ajá, en el pasado participio. En el pasado participio y en el pasado simple son igual, lo mismo. Ajá. Pero lo... los irregulares sí son diferentes, cambian tanto en el pasado simple y también cambian en el pasado participio. Un ejemplo es, por ejemplo, es it. Sí. Ate, eaten. It, it, comer. Ajá. Eight, pasado, simple. And eaten, pasado, participio, que significa comido, ¿verdad? Ah, con ING. No. Eaten. Sería E, A, T, E, N. Lo voy a escribir en el chat. Ah, okay. Eaten. Uh, ese es en el pasado participio. Exactly. En el pasado y simple es el... eight. Ajá. Y en el simple present, it. Ajá, en el presente simple, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Y quiero ver, por ejemplo, con el verbo mates, mates, hacer, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. En el presente. Ese verbo es may... regular, ¿verdad? Sí, may. Y me es igual. Ah, ese es irregular, entonces. Es irregular. Ah, ok. Pero en, en, es en el pasado participo se mantiene como me. Sí, igual. igual que en el pasado simple. Así es. Ah, ya. Y en el presente simple es, es make, ¿verdad? Con K. Uh -huh. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Que yo se lo puse en Ahora. El Ah, okay, le puse okay. otro ejemplo, mire. Give, gave, given. Ah, oh, ya. Y para identificar esos, esos verbos, teacher, hay, hay alguna que... red. Ah, ok. Sí, sí. sí ah, se los tiene que aprender. Uh -huh. Es bueno tener una lista. Una ah, lista quizás de... es, es bueno sacar una lista de los de los regulares, ¿verdad? De los que se les pone solo ED. Ya quizás por descarte los otros son esos que cambian su forma. Yo quizás lo, lo haría al revés. Ajá. Eh, primero, creo que mejor buscaría la, los verbos irregulares y me los aprendería. Uh -huh. Y esos. los demás, pues ya son los con ED o, o con D. Irregular. Ah, okay. Porque los irregulares tienen que aprenderse cuál sería, ¿verdad? Su forma en el pasado y en el participio. Ah, ya, yeah, ok. Y la otra, ay, que en unas oraciones yo vi que se ponía will, was y be. 
Entonces, no sé, en esas oraciones de pasado, pasado simple, entonces no sé en cuál, en cómo usar eso, el wish, will, was y be. Me lo puede escribir en el chat. Ahorita. Well. Creo que este fue el tema del, del, del passive, del passive voice. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. Entonces, y por ahí es donde me... los participios. Ajá, por ejemplo, eh, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? The class will be canceled. La clase será cancelada. Este es en el futuro. The class will be canceled. El pasado sería The class was canceled. La clase fue cancelada. Y, y la otra sería en el presente The class is canceled. La clase está cancelada. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Solo le voy a tomar una captura es a, a lo sí, del chat. Eh, quiero... Y hace que en la, bueno, Voy a buscar esa presentación y si gusta se la envío, porque ahí la vimos en la clase. Ah, de acuerdo, teacher. De esa me la enviaría. Ajá, pero para, no, él, o sea, de que... para esa forma utilizamos el verbo to be y el pasado participio. En el futuro uh -huh. will be, en el pasado was or where, si es plural, en is or uh -huh. are, si es plural, en el presente. Ah, ya. Yeah. Will, futuro. Was, pasado. Is or, or are, ¿verdad? Sí. Dependiendo, plural o singular, ¿verdad? Exactamente. Ah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Y luego ah, okay. el, el verbo pues, en sí, participio. Yeah. Uh -huh. La clase será cancelada. La clase fue ah, cancelada. El... La clase es cancelada. Ajá. El verbo en participio se refiere a, a, a poner ed si es regular ¿verdad? y si es regular eh, cambia su forma ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ah ok ok y quiero ver qué otra cosa tenía escrito por aquí Lights. le voy a ah. poner otro en lo que lo busca o le voy a poner otro ejemplo ok Esto del DQ uh -huh. es para pre preguntas, ¿verdad? El D, sí, es para, lo usamos para preguntas en negativo. Ajá, ah, el D es para hacer el pasado. Para preguntar en pasado. Por ejemplo, ¿Did you eat chicken today? Usted dice, yes, I did. O no, I didn't. Exactamente, o no, I didn't. Y, pero ahí el verbo eh, no cambia. El verbo no va, en, no, no cambia. Ah, porque, porque el auxiliar. El auxiliar. Uh -huh, ah, auxiliar. ya, ya, ya. Ajá, absorbe eso. Exactamente, solo en el afirmativo usamos el verbo en pasado. En negativo y en question usamos el auxiliar did. Ah, ok. Quiero ver. Ah, estas serían solo para preguntas en pasado. El pasado, sí. Y ya no, los otros. El, el do ya es, es para presente, presente, ¿verdad? Y para futuro. El das. Para, no, para el futuro usamos el are you going to. Ah, ya. Y Con el, el verbo ing. Uh -huh. Pero solo going. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ahí le puse el, el, el I ate chicken for lunch. I didn't eat fish. Mm, ok. Ah, y la otra, lo otro de esta clase, yo le entendí que el cool you es como para pedir cosas, pero de una manera eh, como que más, como 
elegante, algo así. Sí, más... De, de, de una buena manera, ¿verdad? Exacto, de una de buena forma, forma cordial, de amable. Forma, El Ken es como para pedirlo no de buena manera. Sí, está pidiendo permiso, pero es más formal, could. Ajá. Y, el, y en el caso del bull Ahí le he puesto un ejemplo mire. Would you mind, Could you repeat the question? Y la otra sería Would you mind repeating the question? Uh -huh. Ah, el would, el would you mind Siempre el verbo con ing Aquí, ajá, esa era la diferencia que vimos ahora. El could you, el verbo va normal. Y en would you mind, el verbo uh -huh. va en the ing form. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. Y este la... will, will you, will you siempre tiene que llevar el, el my. O puede no llevarlo. En lo que aprendimos ahora, sí. Porque es como le importaría. Would you mind repeating the question? ¿Le importaría repetir la pregunta? Sí, sí lo tiene que llevar. Would you mind? Uh -huh. Para hacer un, un request, una petición, sí. De ahí usted va a aprender más adelante que pueden um, usar el would sin el mind. Ajá, lo va a usar para con otros verbos y, y va a significar ia. Va a hacer que el verbo se convierta en ia. Por ejemplo. Would you go to the stadium to see the selecta? ¿Irías al estadio a ver la selecta? Would you go to the stadium to, to watch the selecta? Uh, o sea, de que eh, si no ocupáramos el my, ahí sí el verbo ya no llevaría ing, sino que podría ir en... Ajá, normal. cabal. Ah, uh, ya. Yeah. Con el my sí debería, siempre va con ing, ¿verdad? Sí, pero porque en esta ocasión estamos usándolo para pedir una, para hacer una petición formal. Ah, ya. Yeah. Ah, pues sí. Uh -huh. Y el, el otro pasado que hay, teacher, está el simple, el participo, y el, so, o solo esos dos son. No, hay más. También está el pasado uh -huh. perfecto, el pasado progresivo. Tampoco hemos visto el was en where, porque si lo solo metemos uh -huh. todo de un solo, pues. Es uh -huh. como que te le metas cinco pupusas de un solo, vea. Sí, nos vamos a confundir. ¿tú? Exactamente. Ah, ok. Entonces, yo, yo creo que con eso, teacher. Vaya, qué bueno, Mauricio. Me alegro haber podido responder sus preguntas. Igual lo felicito, ¿verdad? Porque sé que trata de ir al día, ¿verdad? Se esfuerza mucho y eso. Pues lo apreciamos, ¿verdad? Muchas gracias. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.